Here we go, Linda. Oh, the, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us get ahead of you a little bit. Mikey, get ahead of them a little bit. Okay, right there, right there. And... Am I out enough? Can you see me? Yeah, that's good. Come in a little closer to us and action. Perfect, we got it, we got it. That's a wrap. We got it. I guess that's it. <laughs> Okay folks, today I'm gonna walk you through my current camera package since we have all this downtime. Uh, my camera package is everything I'm sitting in the middle of. Obviously, um, it will show up with the tripod. This is the iCan E-Image 500. Um, this right here is the ready rig and I'll be showing you guys how I have configured this to use it more like an easy rig configuration. I still rock with the old school Devin Graham glide cam. I love that thing. Fail proof and uh, it's super easy to go into low mode with that thing. Okay, so this is it. Then we have the camera case, the AKS case, my V-mount batteries down in this bag. This right here is filters in that box, lenses, and this is the BTS bag. So in here is um, all things BTS, you know, the GoPro Hero 5 Black, hide that somewhere on set, put it on time-lapse mode, and also I throw the GH5 with the Sigma Art and Metabones, hand it off to a PA. That's something we started doing on the latest feature film back in January, and that's a win-win for everybody. So. Without further ado, so this doesn't get too long, let's jump in right away and crack this baby open and start building. Okay, so first up is the camera case. Let's pop up in here and here everything is. This is a think tank padded interior. So this right here is a cool like little think tank accessory. Back in here you can fit up to a 13 inch MacBook Pro, an iPad, whatever. Um, lots of cool little compartments. This right here is where I keep my SSDs. So I have three different flavors of SSDs. And yes, they all work fine with the Black Magic for well over a year now. Uh, you can customize this any way you want. But of course, first up, the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Okay, so on this bad boy right here, I have the Small Rig Half Cage, um, a Small Rig Universal SSD mount holder. This is because I use both the Samsungs and the G drives, so you can fit those in there. Um, it did come with a little HDMI clamp or a little cable clamp, but it tends to get in the way of my other cables here, so I just took it off. But yeah, I found I just like this lives right there on the side. It's kind of where I like it to be. I have a bigger um, small rig rail block here. Uh, I used to use a different one, but that one had a weird height when it came to the rails and things. So now I have this one, and it's a much better, more normal kind of quote unquote industry standard height in terms of matte box and follow focus. Um, I have the Metabones Ultra Cine Lock. So this is like a EFPL kind of hybrid here. So it's a locking, so it locks your lenses on. I've done reviews of all this stuff before, but uh, okay, down here is the little small rig Metabones foot. So this is a little Metabones small rig foot. I highly, highly recommend this. Not only for just um, less strain on your mount, on your camera mount, but also it's, it's less strain on your lenses. That's what I really, I don't wanna put a lot of strain on my vintage lenses. So that's the camera body itself. Okay, in this next little pocket here is the Blackmagic HDR Video Assist, the new one. I've done a full tutorial on this. The screen's a little nasty. Uh, so you'll see I have another small rig universal cable clamp up top because when I use this with the, with the GH5, um, you can burn ProRes 4K 60p files to SSD. And here you'll see the little monitor clamp that I was talking about. Um, yeah, so that's the current monitor that I use. In this pocket right here is my follow focus. Done a full review on this as well. This is the Foca DP500 Mark III. I really, really love this follow focus. In this pocket right here is the Axoon Cine Eye. This is for a DIY low budge wireless video village option. Um, in this pocket right here is a small rig NATO top handle and the current little small rig 360 degree swivel monitor mount that I use. Uh, you always need one of these as a rocket blower here. 
This is my Think Tank cable pack. So this is all cables that are needed with my camera build here. So I keep them all just thrown into this Think Tank cable bag. This is the Lampart V-mount battery base plate that I've talked about many a times. Really great, you can see all the different options that it includes. So in here, it doesn't matter what kind of rig you have. You have a built-in uh, electronic HDMI splitter, USB ports, D-taps, all kinds of different plugs for no matter what you're using. Uh, so yeah, I still rock that. And then also down in here is my carbon fiber small rig 15 millimeter rods. So these are the main rods that I use. Super light, super cool looking. And this is the lenses. You guys have seen this plenty of times before. This is my little mini cine kit. <laughs> uh, we got uh, two classic Zeisses, 15 f2.8, the 21 mil 2.8, and then four contacts. The Hollywood, the 28 f2, 85 2.8, 35 2.8, and the 51 4. So the only super speeds I have in my set is the Hollywood and the 50. Uh, I've done full videos explaining all this, but it's primarily because these are the ones that I tend to shoot on the most. These are all completely modded out thanks to Simod lens. I highly, highly recommend Simod. Yeah, so these have all been converted to EF. They all have declicked apertures and focus rings and iris gears, and they're good to go. Okay, so this is my pride and joy right here. Uh, this is my filter, so all thing filter related along with my wooden camera Zipbox Pro. I've done a full review on this. This is still my favorite matte box. It's super, super ultra lightweight. It is the studio version, so it has a swing away. I'm not a fan of clamp on because clamp on does put some strain on your lenses over time. So there you'll see the carbon fiber. It has a three stage filter system. So three different filters can drop into here. I've done a full videos on this. This is an amazing filter, uh, filter matte box. Uh, holds up to three filters at once. I've also put a Velcro on the side of this thing. So let's say you grabbed out the Hollywood Black Magic filter and boom. So that's just to help us keep track of whatever filters we're using. Um, yeah, and in here, this is my full filter kit as of now. There's extra rails up top here. And also back in here, I keep uh, another wooden camera, the original Zipbox. This is when I'm, I'm on gimbal, and I just want to throw one extra filter on there. I do keep a color chip chart in there as well. So I also have other things in here from Simod. This is the crystals, so I have crystals. I mean, I have a whole plethora of filters. I'll put a link to my filter playlist down in the description below. Okay, so let's start building this bad boy. So first up, the camera. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these rods in here. And we'll throw the Hollywood on there. So this is the 28 F2 Hollywood lens. We're gonna, you'll see how this just pops on here because it is um, EF cine lock, right? The angle I'm at is kind of weird right here, but you'll see how you just set it in there like that. Okay, so then there is our lens. And there our bad boy is, that's our big 28 mil F2, the contacts. Okay, so one feature I wanna add is that I added rail block up on top here. And the reason for that is you will see in a minute. But for now, let's take our NATO handle here and let's throw this on right here. And you'll see how this attaches like that. And what's cool about this one is, I know Small Rig makes a newer one now, but this one's still cool because it has this uh, that you can keep in there. Right, so this stays in there, pop that out. You could loosen these up. One quick spin and then you can shove that forward. So it's really up to you or you can let it sit in the middle. It's kind of however up to you, however you wanna rock this, uh, this NATO handle. This one's pretty cool because this is a quick release kind of follow focus. And then it just slides forward. Kind of look at like, yeah, that looks about right. Okay, then this one slides forward. And there it is right there. Okay, and we have the wooden camera. I use the knicker just because it's a little easier uh, for these old school lenses. As you'll see here, this is like one of my favorite parts about this, uh, about this wooden camera map box is the fact that you can just drop this down and go off to the next location. I really like that. There's our bad boy right there. Okay, so we're coming along quite nicely. Um, okay, I'm gonna drop this down for now. And next we're gonna get the monitor up on here. 
I have this bad boy right here, the small rig monitor mount, just a little cold shoe mount guy right here. Boom, 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 lock that in. And then we can take our Blackmagic Video Assist and screw it in right there. And now it's fully tiltable however we want it. Let's pull out a little bit here. Yeah, so you can see how it's fully tiltable there, okay? So we'll throw the one terabyte SSD up in there Put that right there, push that to the back, okay? We'll do cables in a minute now. Okay, so now we have this and we're gonna need some batteries. So that's why I've included this top, this top rail now. Now the whole point of this is because I still use V-mount and V-mount is kind of a pain in the ass because they fall out so easily. And because if I was to put this on the bottom, as you'll see, the V-mount would be upside down. If I hang it like this and then lock this down, now the V-mount will sit more normal and I still have full access and view to my screen down here. I use the B98 uh, Soonwells. These are wonderful, wonderful batteries. They have two D-taps. They also have a USB port. So these things are pretty awesome. And then this just locks down there and now you can start to see the build a little bit here, okay? So here she currently is. Let me fly this back up. Keep our brow up there, a carbon fiber wooden camera brow. Okay, there's the current build. Um, now all we're doing is missing some cables and things. So we can start throwing some cables on this. Have all of my cable management in this think tank bag here. First one is my little baby <laughs> USB-C cable because I don't like long cables. As you'll see, most of these plugs I've taken right out of here. The only one I've left is this audio one. I try to keep this plugged in, but this one will probably eventually get pulled out as well because these things really get on my nerves. So what I like about the little baby one is you can just pop that in there and then pop that in there. I like to use this little shorty right here, little thin one. We run it down here and right into here. Try my best to keep all cables slim, light, and not in the way. The next one I have is for the Blackmagic HDR Video Assist. I actually got a, this is a really nice, it's made by PowRig. Uh, it actually shows you a little uh, meter too, and it's a D-tap to MPF uh, dummy battery. Um, right here on the side, plug that in there, right? And then run this all the way to the back here. Now the camera monitor is plugged in and you'll see there what I was talking about. It does have a little meter there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Okay, and of course the last one is the, my Waipu to D-Tap. But I also have a battery that I leave in the camera itself. So when I do have to swap V-mounts, it's, you know, I can do hot swap. This is a pretty wild rig, but this is pretty cool. And there it is. So this is like tripod mode, you know, um, and I can show you how easy it is to take this whole rig and pop it off and go to ready rig. Okay guys, so this is the ready rig system right here. Um, and uh, so funny, I've had this for so long. I've been using this on so many projects for like almost a year now. I just haven't showed it on the channel yet, but I actually have it rigged up. This is how I do it. Only one arm for easy rig style. Obviously there's another arm here and actually, uh, this is the original, like this is the very first ready rig that was ever made because it came with this system right here. And this is like a platform that the camera sits on. So this right here is like the actual platform system. There's a quick release thing in here uh, and you can swivel it. It's basically like the ultimate shoulder rig. Um, but I took that off of there and I opted on getting some of these things. Now these are the straps for the Ronin, right? And they connect right in here. Um, however, this is made for like the newer ready rigs, but I took a gamble, right? It was like 180 bucks for both of these. And I was like, I'm gonna take a gamble and see if it fits my old ready rig. And it did, it fit up in here perfectly to this quick release system. So if you wanna know like how to use the ready rig like an easy rig style and make it easier to like sit in a car with it or not have to worry about hitting anything over your head. For those of you guys who don't know, the easy rigs are the ones that have the big thing that goes up and over like this. Whereas this is more like if I wanted both arms, 
And if I owned a Ronin, the Ronin would just snap in here, you know, and then you have the big Ronin. So that's an option too, if I ever want to, you know, purchase a Ronin. But in the meantime, what I've been doing a lot is I take the camera like this. This is the little system here. Loops, just loop around the top handle of your camera and there it is. So now you have more of a fluid handheld system. I've been shooting a lot of stuff like this lately. Uh, while I'm talking here, you know, I've been showing you some B-roll of things that I've captured while using this, uh, this ready rig system set up like this. And one of the cool things that you can do with this that you can't do on an easy rig is I can flip this around like this, right? And they call this the Don Juan. So then I can literally walk forward while the camera's behind me, you know, grabbing stuff like that. You can spin it back around. Um, what makes it really nice too is I can even slam this V-mount into my shoulder right here and just get some really solid shots. So, um, and you'll see those examples in this B-roll here. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I've never really shown the ready rig here on the YouTube. Uh, my Patreon folks know all about it. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's that's how I rock a lot of things with this ready rig system. And it just makes for so much better uh, handheld movements for me in particular. I tend to get fatigue uh, while doing handheld work, but I love handheld work. And this just makes for a much more fluid handheld system that I can operate and just go even longer. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. It works out great. And as you see with that music video, I jumped right in the back of the truck with this on, just sit. I mean, you can sit in a car. I've done that too on little short films that I've shot, just sitting in the back of the car um, because you don't have to worry about anything overhead. Um, so yeah, and then you can still chill here like this. It's not all the weights going down on my hips. So yeah, if you have a ready rig and you're thinking, man, I wonder how I can use it for handheld, well, you know, I mean, that is an option. Just get you a good sturdy top handle and throw that on there and away you go. So yeah, I know it's a, it's just, you know, something I want to show you guys, the current uh, rig build, rig culture, I haven't shown any of that stuff in a long time. If you're interested in any of those products, as always, I'll have links down in the description below. If you're interested in more of like, what it's like being a uh, freelance, independent DIY filmmaker right here in Los Angeles, California. I encourage you to check out the Dog Times Patreon, patreon.com slash Justin Phillip. Links also down in the description below. Links, links, more links. I wish you guys uh, the safest, uh, all the best during these crazy times right now. And for now, that's a wrap. <laughs>